Hey friends, it's September 9th. We've got a heat wave. Look at me in a tank top. Ah, after such a cold summer. It's been a hot minute since I gave you a garden tour, so let's look at what the garden looks like on its downhill. We got frost due any day. We had just above freezing yesterday and we didn't get frost. I don't know how that happened. But let's show you the garden. My flowers are just in full glory. Guys, I've enjoyed these flowers so much, just having all these rambling flowers. The peas just keep on giving more and more peas. Our other peas are done, but these ones up here were planted a bit later. I've got more sunflowers still coming out. Um, there's potatoes that I planted in here. Let's see. The green beans got eaten up and killed and all that. Lettuces are long gone, long done. Um, there's some zucchini plants in here that keep on giving. As you can tell, I've not really been up on weeding. Some tomato plants in here that basically they're just green tomatoes. We're never gonna get ripe tomatoes from these. Corn, I had given up on. Let's see if we can get through this garden here. I had given up on the corn, but all of a sudden it went through a growth spurt. And the odd one actually has an itty bitty baby cob. So who knows? Maybe we will get some itty bitty corns. Maybe over there, there's one that's got a bit bigger one. And again, all the flowers, so many flowers. Dill, finally doing something. More flowers. Cilantro's gone to seed and it's coriander now. Cosmos. Dahlia's coming up in here most. The kale. It's all so beautiful. There's some carrots in there. This is my hot mess garden love it into the greenhouse now remember it is legal to grow marijuana where I live they're growing it as an aphid repellent I actually doubt I'll get a crop actually one of mine's going to seed which I thought I didn't have any male plants but I think I have to pull that one out we get some tomatoes that are going crazy over here tomatoes tomatoes those ones back there are kind of starting to bud out I don't know if they're gonna do anything more tomatoes some green beans that maybe might do something I don't know, it's chaos. Chaos, I tell you. Some tomatoes I never planted out. Woo, some wire to dodge, no. Now, these zucchini plants just never stop. Pepper plants basically did nothing. We didn't get enough heat. Inside, there's a few peppers, but not out here. This herb bed. Um, kind of got overtaken by weeds. I need to trim this right back. Yeah. In here, there is lots of herbs, believe it or not. This sour cherry tree right here produced gallons and gallons of sour cherries for the first time ever. These apples are just about ready to pick. They taste good. Let's see, there's some chickens over there. Let's go down to the big garden. Okay, so remember when I was really optimistic and planted a whole pile of carrots? They're buried in here. First of all, I had awful germination. I got them all really well weeded once and then that didn't last very long. So we're just eating what we can. We have lots of potatoes. Coming up between the potatoes, you can see this is barley. This will get turned under and it will just be green manure. We'll be fine. It's from the straw. So. Potatoes, 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 potatoes. Oh, look, potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. This is fingerlings in this row. So we've been digging them and eating them. We did dig a couple plants from other ones just to see how they were doing. And down here, uh-oh, I left this too long. This cauliflower needs to be picked. It's going to seed. And that cauliflower just never did very well. My cows got in here, and I kind of just considered it a write-off down here. They trashed a bunch of cabbages and all sorts of stuff. Like, here's the cabbage that they trashed. And I honestly just haven't really been down here since I chased them out of here because I knew they had just trashed most of this. They ate. <laughs> look at what they did to my Brussels sprouts. I mean, the Brussels sprouts look pretty decent, but they ate all the greenery off of them. Trashed these cabbages ate so much of the greenery. 
all this stuff. Here, there was peas and lettuce that were just, they were pretty done and they ate them all. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I got a lot of broccoli and cabbages and stuff out of here and there's still more, they're still good. But yeah, cows through there. So, piggy wiggies are in there. They're probably sleeping because it's hot out. So this garden is basically mostly potatoes, as you can tell. This is the same fingerling row we've been digging from. I'm pretty happy with all these potatoes. Marius was tempted to start digging potatoes since we're into September, but the plants are still alive and doing well. Oh man, there's more zucchinis. Zucchinis never end, guys. Never end. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see those. Will they go away if I pretend? Um, it's still, the plants are still growing and it's dry. So we're just gonna leave the potatoes to keep growing. And when the plants start to die back is when we will start digging them. We have lots of crates. We traded a friend who had got these crates. They got peony tubers in these black crates. They got shipped in them. And we traded them potatoes for these crates and they are excellent, they stack. We didn't have to build them. We thought we were gonna have to build 100 potato crates. So that was really nice. Anyhow, that was a fairly quick garden tour. But I went in more depth in other ones. And um, everything is pretty weedy because at this time of year we're just more focused on harvesting. We've frozen lots of snap peas, broccoli. Um, there were definitely some things that I really wish we'd got more of. I wish the carrots had done better. I wish the green beans had done better. But I just have to be thankful for what I do get and what I got lots of. Our potato crop looks good. So, you know, potatoes get us through the winter.